Hello everyone, this is Pedro with Cinemilled here, and I just want to share with everyone the new product we're carrying on our website. It is the C-Motion One fo Wireless Focus System, and um, C-Motion is a fantastic company from Austria that uh, I have been using in, uh, in my work now for a number of years. They are a leading, lead, you know, top tier um, solutions provider for wireless focus, iris zoom, and lens control uh, in the industry. Uh, I have one of their more expensive cinema systems that, that controls up to 12 motors that I use a lot for 3D productions. And this is their new offering that um, since I'm selling so much to the Ronin users and the gimbal market, I think it's something that everyone should know about because there are a lot of options out there these days for uh, wireless focus. And um, it's not something to be taken lightly. It's, it's always more than a few thousand dollars. And um, it's something that uh, you bring to set that you need to depend on. And um, it needs to work the first time, every time, consistently. And C-Motion has done that for me for a number of years. So I am very happy that they're now offering this uh, l less expensive model that is perfectly suited for the Ronin and any gimbal that you might um, start using. So. This is the uh, C-Motion One system, um, 21 uh, special edition. Basically, what you what you see here is what you get for uh, 6,580. I think uh, the price is on the website, but basically, it's a very good price point because it provides you with a professional tool at an accessible price. So here's what you get: you get it comes in this case. Lots of cool pockets and everything, and um, there it is. There's lots of pouches for the different things. Um, here's the hand controller. Now, the hand controller I'm a big fan of, and it is something as a first AC um, that you care about a lot because you're holding this in your hand all night long, 12 hours, 15 hours, 18 hours a day, and um, it's it's very easy to use. Um, it's fairly light um, and it has a very nice knob which is very important and um, really good battery life and basically you know um, one of the big things that I'm a big fan of is that it has a LCD um, graphical user interface to control everything so it's extremely easy to set up you just press the buttons right next to there and we'll go into that in, in a little bit but uh, it's very simple it's a single channel only um, that's why it's called the, the Compact One system. And, and um, <coughs> let me turn this off here. And just hold it down, and it powers. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> it powers off. So you get, you know, let me see so you, can, you guys can see here. You get a charger. You get different rings. You get a power cable comes with a D-tap. Uh, there's a neck strap. And of course, so with this system, you can either use the C-Motion motor, the C-Force motor, and it's a fantastic motor, very high torque, super fast response, and um, highly recommend it. Or the great thing is, is that you can use the C-Motion motor, or you can use it with the tried and true, the Hayden 21VE motor. Now it's very small, it's very compact, this is what I recommend, um, especially for the gimbal users, because we're looking to shave weight as much as possible. It's an extremely capable motor. Um, I've been using one for years. I have, I own four of them, um, and um, you can easily swap the side of the of the uh, of the, the gear very quickly. You can move this around, you know. So it's a uh, it's a great great motor. And more importantly, it's a lot lighter than even the C-Motion motor. And of course, it's a lot lighter than the Preston motor. It's a lot lighter than the Airy motor. It's pretty much the lightest, uh, most responsive, best motor that it, there is out there. So you, for the same price of this kit, you can get this motor or that motor. So the biggest thing about this, this system that is very exciting and is why I wanted to um, start selling them and make people aware of that this exists is the fact that it's the size of the equipment that you're putting on your gimbal. So this is the motor. As you can see, it is markedly smaller than pretty much every other option out there and lighter. And then most importantly, 
This is the receiver. So you see here, compact came in one. And it's very simple. There's just a couple of uh, power and motor and control, a couple of, couple of places for you to mount it. But the most important thing is how small this is. So to give you a reference, you know, it's smaller than an iPhone. Um, here's a more popular reference is, here's a Bartek receiver, and here's the Cayman. So it is smaller in every dimension, and of course, much lighter. Um, and then, I mean, this is, <laughs> this is the Preston MDR, which you can see is extremely, extremely bigger. Now, of course, this does three motors, um, but even their single channel MDR is much bigger than this. So this is really the big selling item. Pretty much this and a motor cable and then the power cable is all you have to put on your gimbal and you can do wireless focus. All right, everyone, so this is the controller. Really nice. You can see here, very ergonomic, fits in your hand perfectly. It's a really nice knob. It also has a replaceable ring system. Um, there you go. And it has rosettes for, you can attach it to a little clamp arm, so you can clamp it on a C-stand. There's the battery release, and it comes with batteries, of course. And you see here, that's the, how you power it on. And you get control everything from here. And basically, it's really simple. You got you could set lens limits right there, and it gives you a graphical representation of what those limits are. You can you could set low or high torque. You can um, change the channel on the receiver, you know. So and of course the direction on the motor. So basically, all your basic controls, and uh, gives you a connection signal and a battery uh, icon as well. And it's a really nice super ergonomic system to hold in your hand and the knob is just fantastic and so that's the hand controller <laughs> this is the seaforce one motor and um, it's a fantastic motor very robustly built and if you just unscrew that the uh, the um, gear also flops over to the other side there's an insert for 15 and 19 millimeter rods this just slides up and down, so it's really easy to adjust. It comes, as you can see, with the cable. Now, you know, if you get if you get the um, 21VE version, it, it'll come with the Hayden motor. And as you can see here, the uh, Hayden motor is a lot smaller in size and weight, of course. And um, it also is even easier to switch over the gear side. There, it falls in. You can get it this in different pitches. Um, of course, there's the, the insert right there for the different size rods, and it's much lighter. So that's the that's the motor right there. And most importantly, so here is the. <coughs> So most importantly, here is the Compact Cayman 1 receiver. So this goes on the camera. And if you flip it over here, you see a rosette for a mounting point. You, there's also a quarter 20 in there, and then there's another one right there. So you can use it, attach it different ways. Velcro is usually my favorite. And, you know, motor goes in here, power goes in here, and then there's an on and off switch, and you adjust the channel right there. So it's very simple. So just once again, as a reference, there is a Bartek. can see the difference in size and weight, I mean, big difference in weight. So, and then of course you have the Preston MDR, which is, you know, much bigger. Much bigger, much heavier. Obviously, this is the three motor system. This one only does one. All right, so here we have a Red One build. They have the plate here for the Ronin. And um, I'm going to be showing off our new arm extensions in a second. And I just want to talk about, you know, 
<coughs> mounting the uh, receiver um, for the compact system. So basically you can see here I, uh, I put some Velcro on the back and so with the Velcro that lets you put it you know maybe on the side here you can put it on top if you want to although I always advise against against putting any sort of top weight on a on an epic build for the Ronin. So here is a, a, a on the side is the solution. Um, you could always go on the back where the battery is, but then every time you swap the battery, you gotta you gotta put Velcro on all your batteries. The other thing that they do, which is really great, is they have they have a rosette here on the bottom, and they have this connector which you could place on there in any position. And so what that's gonna let me do in this scenario is here we have our, our Epic plate, uh, I mean the Ronin plate dovetail. So I, <clears throat> if I had another rod on here, I can put this essentially right there by using this rod adapter. So slide onto the rod right there and then it goes onto the rosette securely. And then of course I could change the angle if I have an issue with the cables, but I could actually slide it forward and I don't think I'm going to have an issue and you'll probably see in my uh, pan extension video this all built ready to go but I just want to show you that this gives you a lot of mounting options uh, if you have a rosette anywhere else on your camera you can you can mount that there's also they make a, a, a v-lock adapter so if you have a v-mount anywhere you can click this into so it's a lot other uh, another option and uh, yeah so just uh, a little bit about just wanted to show some of the mounting options you have on the Ronin for the receiver. So just wanted to, before we go, show you guys the setup here. Uh, we got our pan extension, our extension arms. And so I want to show you how I mounted the C-Motion. So basically, I mounted using the uh, rod adapter that I had showed you guys. And... Um, you know, um, you could change the orientation to orient or any orientation you wanted. I opted to do that. Uh, nice thing you can you can use this also for is to slide it back and forth on the rods, and that actually helps you fine tune the balance. And um, let me pan this around here, and see we got our motor hooked up, and I am powering it off the. Uh, the D-tap on the bottom of the rig. Now of course I could undo it from here, put some Velcro on the side of the camera, put it there, I could mount it on top, I could do a lot of different things. And um, anyways, just wanted to show you guys a, 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 some, a, one of the ways you can mount your uh, C-Motion. Alright, so basically you hit the, the hold of the top top right button it's gonna power up and see it says searching it connects now you see it's blinking yellow it's blinking yellow because it needs to be calibrated so you just there's a calibrate you just hit the button once and the uh, lens is calibrating see it move in the background there I'm just going over a few more of the functions so basically you got torque and there's a W and there's an S and that stands for weak and strong and direction of the knob, of course, uh, L and R for left and right. And then right here, there's a limit, and that's what I could show you. It's very easily used. Basically, you figure out where the limit you want to be, so you hit that button once. That sets that limit. You move the knob until you want the other limit, and you hit that. And now the whole movement of the knob is contained within that little section. Now, this is very important for DSLR users where the lens doesn't have a very big throw. So you see right there, that's all blacked out. That's not being used right now. So just this little white section is the active section of the lens. So this lets you spread the travel. You know, if the lens has a small travel, it lets while the while the lens is moving very little, you got the whole movement of the knob. So it really makes uh, pulling focus on. Uh, maybe uh, a DSLR lens a lot easier so you just hit that once to clear it you see now that all the black bars are gone and you can now you have full movement of the lens again and I also want to point out how responsive it is 
There is no lag whatsoever. Lastly, there's a channel right there. And that's just up or down. This is a different communication channel. And um, that's pretty much it. And there's an icon there for um, power and a connectivity icon. And that's pretty much the C-Motion Compact 1 system.